On Friday of this week, Alexis and I met to explore using a synchronous meeting application called VIEW. Build as a real-time, anytime, visual collaboration tool. It's found online, and it's free of charge for up to 10 users. As you can see, Alexis and I made up the full complement of users at this meeting. We had a rocky beginning as I, without video or audio, used the chat box while Alexis resorted to using comments to be able to communicate with one another. With a great deal of clicking and not a little frustration, you can see in this hyperspeed clip our efforts of over 12 minutes to get my own audio and video working properly. After incidentally closing the chat box and user box, it was easy to locate the webcam and the talk buttons. The key were the small buttons in the lower right hand corner. On the way, I learned to use the pen tool and Alexis learned to share her screen. We also learned that by toggling between the top navigation buttons between screen share and room, it changed our view and we needed to be on the same one or in room most of the time. My goal for the meeting was to have a welcome screen with an agenda, greet Alexis, and then share an embedded YouTube video, and then together work through an uploaded worksheet. Well, I can show you how this went. We were losing some real estate due to some of the pods being open and we couldn't quite figure out how to close them. Finally, after some stray clicking, we came upon a screen hint which indicated to us how to close this comment box and then regain some of the real estate that we had been missing. On page two, I can see my inserted worksheet. But page one, I see nothing at all. More finagling, and I saw this, but last my content had shrunk. More clicking in the agenda was sized correctly. I scrolled down to see the embedded video, and no matter what I tried, I couldn't make it play. And so finally, I just resorted to screen sharing. And I went to the YouTube website and I was able to successfully view the video and Alexis was also able to see and hear it on her own computer. It seems this is a more successful way of viewing videos, at least for now. I learned a lot from this experience. I learned that it is not enough to think that I have the content loaded and ready to go. That preparation is really important. But I also need to know the application well enough to understand how it behaves. And I also need to plan with my viewers, or students, how to communicate in order to do troubleshooting just in case it's not working well for any of us on either side of the cyber world. What we discovered was that the sync button, which is center of the screen above the white space, was really critical. And when it was synced, we did share the same view. Other lessons that I learned, it's very important to know your application. It's important to prepare a tutorial for students before using the application for instruction. I need to be able to anticipate glitches and most of all, be flexible.